showing you my first website that I built when I um, got Wix and you know all the functions that I, I use and you know it's a really simple template really basic website and you know it got the job done but there were still some things that I wanted to have differently for my website certain features and here we have it this is my brand new website it has more features more you know um, elements that I'm sharing you know about the products more elements about the brand that I wanted to feature um, easier access it's just flows better more comfortability when it comes to this website um, I think that it just flows a lot better and it's just a lot more pleasing to the eye and it really just looks more of a professional website and I'm about to show you how to do the exact same thing for your website and I'm going to show you a few um, tricks and tips that I have learned on my way as I learned how to build this website um, so and before we get started I just want to ask um, have you started building your website yet what are some um, difficulties that you have found as you began to make your website um, leave those you know things down below I want to know what your process has looked like so far so first things first we're going to um, type in beauty business or you can type in skincare business and click search so that we can find a template to work with and uh, you're going to see that they have chat, bookings, online store. You obviously want to click on online store. I clicked on blog when I created mine, um, but you don't have to um, click on that as an option. That's not necessary. And then you click on that you want to build your website. And all of these templates in that region are going to show up. So depending on what it is that you're wanting to make your website for, it's going to kind of show you other templates that have been used in the past so that you can really see your brand in in that template, if that makes sense. You'll look at it and say, you know what, that's kind of the, the theme I'm looking for. That's the kind of look that I'm looking for. This website. So this is the website that we are going to um, design and I'm just gonna you know kind of scroll down just so you can kind of get a look and a feel for the website um, there's great opportunity to showcase uh, feature products um, talk more about your business give the customer an, a chance to sign up for your email list so there's you know a lot of um, information and you know great space on this website um, to really optimize so I am going to first look at the menu and um, for the menu I'm going to add more pages just so that we have um, you know an, an option for each thing that we sell so the body butter body lotion oil and lip gloss that's what we're gonna pl um, play around with on each page for this site so you're just gonna click on the um, plus button on the page and to add a new page and then you click on the three little dots on the right and you'll click on rename and you can rename um, the page whatever you would like we're gonna do a body lotions and then I'm gonna do body butter body oil and then lip gloss so that each one has their own page I like that better than just having a shop button and then having to hover and click on that and then go to the next page I just think that it looks a little bit cleaner to have it all um, in one line so I'm just going to add that to each one and after you have the menu set up you'll be able to um, stretch out the menu so that all of the words are showing up in one space versus it um, like showing more or anything like that so that there's no like dead space or extra space that doesn't need to be there and I'm just gonna line it up and you just wanna make sure that everything lines up as far as your um, logo and we're gonna go back to the home page and manage menu and when you manage the menu you're going to go to navigate and it's going to show you like different layouts that you can choose from you can have um, it more aligned to the left or to the right say you didn't have it in the middle um, you can have it 
uh, showing more so to the left or more show, so to the right, depending on what look um, you're going for or the aesthetic you're going for for the website. And then if you click on the little um, icon, the brush icon, looks like a paintbrush, they're going to show you different designs that you can choose from. And as you can see, like with each template, there's kind of like a overall theme or like aesthetic that's kind of going through. And as you look at each one and preview them, you can see if that's kind of like the look you're going for. Of course, you can change it, but sometimes like that particular um, aesthetic will be what you're looking for for your brand. So you kind of want to um, make sure that the menu kind of resembles that as well so that it fits there. You know aesthetically <laughs> and the when you pick on the mini design that you like you can customize it as far as like the colors or um, the you know the different shades that you choose from you can ch uh, change the color for when someone's hovering over that particular menu item it will show up as a different color right now it's showing up as like that gray color and um, as I'm looking at this website in particular, they're kind of like going for a, a like blue, uh, red, and yellow tone. So I'm just going to keep that going throughout the website. And I'm going to choose this yellow to um, be the hovering color. And then when they actually click on the, that link, I'm going to also have it show up as yellow as well. And... We can take a look at that to make sure that it shows up properly in the way that um, we're thinking. If you click on preview, I'm just going to move that over a little bit more first. You're going to click on preview and uh, scroll back up. And when you click on it, it'll, when you click on each one, you will see that um, it's, it hovers over properly. Um, now we are going to look at this next feature that is on the page and this feature is um, highlighting a particular product on the website or you know certain products that you want people to click on immediately. So um, here it's showing essentials to, uh, for perfect skin and there's no essentials uh, page here on the um, this website so what you can do is add new page and you're going to make a blank page and you're going to call this essentials and I don't want this page to show up on the menu so I'm just going to make it a page on the website but hide it off of the menu but when they click on that button it will take them straight to that particular page so we're just going to go back to the home screen and now when you click on shop now i'm going to make it say shop essentials because this is this is essentials for perfect skin and then where it says where does it link to now you can see that it says essentials there and that's the page that they're going to automatically go to when they click on that button and um you just want to make sure you talk about what that what those that feature is of the product and you can highlight it there and if you have something new that you want there to be instead you can always change it and switch switch those things out um now we are on the section of all natural and non-toxic skincare and here you have a great opportunity to talk about what sets your brand apart what makes your brand different why should the customer buy your products um why do you um why do you make it clear that your products are all natural why are you making it clear that they're non-toxic non-toxic what does that mean why is that important to you to um sell the products for um really go into detail about what that looks like and so that when the customer is going through your page they can understand okay like this is what um, I can expect from them. This is the um, theme that they're going for throughout their um, throughout their brand, and this is what they stand for. And people love a good story. People love to feel like um, someone cares. And if that's what you want to show, then showcase that and and, and show what makes you different. This is a great time to be able to navigate straight to the About Me page. And we'll go back into the About Me page a little bit later, but that button, you can make 
the about me page so they can click on that and it'll go straight there and it gives you another opportunity to talk about your brand and yourself next up is your um, subscribe to email list you want to make sure that you have this available on your website so that when people come on they can put in their email you'll have them on your email list and you can send them um, any new marketing or um, products or discounts that you have coming up now we are going to talk about the products and adding them to each page um, so uh, first I'm going to just show you adding the products onto the website in general so just so that it shows up but when you click on store you'll have the grid product gallery which is kind of like the normal it shows everything then you have the slider which kind of has the arrow and it's literally slides to each different product then you have the related products and it's just a different they're just different formats that you can have your products show up on the website um, I think that the gallery um, option looks the best you know it shows all of the products it's all shows up on the page easy simple and um, it's, there's no fuss to it <laughs> so now we're going to go into managing the products so you click on the manage products button it's going to take you to your products and now these are all the products that are on the website and I'm just going to click on to one of the products here and here you're going to just I'm going to change the name of this product. I'm going to change it to let's see vanilla body lotion. I'll just have it say that for now. And in the the, the spot where you see it says ribbon, that's where you're going to put new arrival or best seller or featured you know item or something like that and when you were on the product page if you notice that there were little tiny ribbons next to the picture that said new arrival or bestseller that's where you um, type that in so it shows up and that's what it would look like each time um, now you have your collections and you um, this is where you separate your products so that they can show up on each page um, and you'll have a collection for each product type. You'll have one for, you know, your best sellers. And then I'm going to make one for essentials so that when they do click on that, that's the page. And you'll have certain products that you want to have featured there. Um, now you have your additional info sections. Now this is really important as far as um, letting your customer know more info about the product and more info about um, your back-end process so I have the store policy and I'm just going to show you what I put um, personally on my website just so that the customer can know more information about the store what our policies look like the fact that you know we want to make sure that you're having an easy shopping experience online and if there's any issues to definitely reach out to us so that we can help you as soon as possible to make it the best experience that we can then you have your return and refund policy I'm going to add what I have on my website here as well and for the return policy I don't I don't do returns strictly because of sanitary reasons but you do want to you know express to the customer that if anything is wrong or if there are any issues that they can contact you so that you can try to make the situation right at the end of the day customer service is number one we want to make sure that the customer is happy the customer is always right right that's what they say so you want to make sure that um, you are upholding that on your end as well because people care about you know customer service and being treated right so the next thing we have is knowledge of ingredients and allergens I thought this was important to put because people uh, need to know that if they have any allergies to anything that we have in our products um, that they need to be wary of that also do a patch test if you've never used products like this before put it on a small part of your body so you can see how you react and know whether or not it's something that you should continue to use or not you want to make sure that you put those disclaimers out there put that information out there so that there's no guessing and there's no issues later down the road because we don't need that <laughs> okay and next we have pricing 
you just put your price there you can click on on sale if you like that um, as an option if you have certain products you want to put on sale you can do it by percentage or you can do it by an a um, actual dollar amount um, and then they also have the a cost of goods sold section so that you can know how much you're making on each product um, if you know exactly how much which you should know exactly how much it costs to make each product um, you can put that in there so you know what your margins are um, that's really important to to know so definitely um, put that information in there the customer can't see it that's for your eyes only so um, that's just good information I am going to um, show you just another one and we're going to dive into the um, product description more so on this one but uh, for the, I'm going to name this um, unscented body butter and leave it as a bestseller again that's going to show up as a bestseller on the uh, website so that they can see it's good to have those those on there because people can see okay someone really likes these products there are a lot of people that purchase these products i need to get this because everyone else seems to like it and it kind of gives that feel and i think that that's really important and um getting people to be more comfortable with you and seeing the authority that you do have um, next up here's the product description now i'm showing you a product description that i have on my website I go into grave detail about each ingredient and why they're, why it's important inside of this particular product. What does each ingredient do? Because I didn't pick these ingredients just for no reason. Each ingredient does something for your skin, does something that helps your eczema just a little bit more. And I want to show you what that is and explain it so that you understand why this is going to be helpful to you and why this will help your skin um, and then now i'm just going to go to the collection and change that to the uh, body section i'm going to rename the collections here in a minute and show you that as well but you just want to make sure that you're putting them in the proper collections so that it shows up on the page properly um, so now we're in the collections section and um, you can see each one named here and you can just highlight each one and change it so we have body lotion you want to make sure that you have one that says body butter and then you have one that says body oil and we're going to make one that also says lip gloss so you just click on new collection type in what the name you would like it to be um, and you can also name the collection uh, what you'd like um, because that's you're going to be the only one that sees that uh, the customer is not going to see that you have the pages named differently um, and after you make the new collection the web the Wix is going to prompt you to create a page on the website which we already have one so it shouldn't need to prompt you to do that but um, it's going to prompt you to create a page for the new collection and I'm just going to go into the um, the menu manager and delete the extra one so you just click on the three double the three dots there and click delete and then move the lip gloss one that's at the bottom back up so it's um in the the alignment again and we're going to go back to manage products and i'm just going to also show you how to add another product into the line here but first i just want to uh, make sure that i have you know an adequate amount of products in each section so that you can see what it looks like when you add them onto your products it just really helps you divide each um each product and each um you know variation that you have available on your website it just makes it a lot easier to organize they do it all for you if you're like me and struggle with organization just a little bit this really helps you get everything down and um you know just separate everything and, and make it clear so um, definitely uh, make sure you have that um, if, if you are finding this video helpful and you are enjoying it please be sure to like comment and subscribe to the channel and share this video if you care and um, just to get it out to more people that need more information about this and uh, that this will help as well um, so now I'm you know still going through to each page and making sure that we have 
you know, everything separated. Now I'm going to show you how to add a product. Now you have the option for a digital product, a digital product, or a physical product. We're going to click on physical, and we're going to type in glass slipper. I'm just going to add a lip gloss here. And you want to make sure in your description that, again, um, so we're just going to do new arrival for this one. And in your description, you want to go into detail about the lip gloss. What's the quality of it? How is it going to make my lips feel? Is there a scent? Is there a tint? Is there, you know, anything that I uh, I need to know as far as ingredients? What ingredients did you put in there? Um, what do those ingredients, you know, do for uh, for my lips or, you know, whatever the case may be? Again, go into details so, so that they know, the customer knows, um, what they're getting out of the product and uh, why it's so high quality, why it's luxury, okay? We have to explain all of this to the customer and making them, you know, more comfortable with possibly buying the product. Um, now we're going to add a picture and I'm going to show you how you can edit a photo so that you can add it here on Wix. First, we're going to upload um, a couple pictures that I took um, when I was doing the photo shoot uh, that I have here on my laptop and I'm just going to um, upload them and show you how to edit that. So you click on crop and edit and you're gonna um, you have crop and resize which you can um, resize the photo say you have any dead space or if there's just like um, make maybe a shadow or something that you want to um, crop out. It just makes it easy so that you can make sure that the photo is being highlighted in the way that you want. And then you click on enhance. You can do auto enhance and it will, you know, liven up the picture sometimes on its own. Or you can just get rid of auto enhance and just play with the other enhance options and just really see what makes the product pop not alter the product but make it look you know a little bit more presentable and more professional and it's going to automatically save that picture that you edit and um, now we're just going to go to another photo we're going to show one with the, the texture of the lip gloss along with what the lip gloss tube looks like as well and just edit that and save it onto the website as well so now that's added onto the page and now we have now we have two pictures added on there that you know have you know more of an edit to it to make it look a little bit more professional and then we're going to add it to their proper collections have it as a bestseller and also in the lip gloss section itself now let's get into the fun part of actually putting it on the website. Since we already made this the lip gloss page, that product should automatically auto-populate here. And now you can see the product that we added, lip, um, the glass slipper, is on the page. Now we're going to go to the body lotion. Now see, all of the products that are on the page are going to show up here. Um, I thought that I had put uh, lip gloss accidentally in the body lotion option or the collection page um, and I didn't it's just that when you add the um, products onto the webs onto the website it's gonna automatically put all products and the all products collection on there so all you have to do is um, click on the settings button and all of the collections that you have on the website are going to show up and you're going to click on whichever one that you want to be on the page. And here it's going to be body lotion. So you click on that collection and it'll automatically show up. Now we're going to go on to body butter and we're going to do the same thing. Um, you go down to the store option, click on the gallery and go to settings and make sure that the body butter collection is the one that is, is selected to be on that page and it just makes it so much easier so that every you know every feature that every product feature that you want is on the page properly um and we're going to go back it looks like the uh, the body butter didn't add so we're just going to go back in 
and re-add it to make sure that it's, it is showing up on the page. So now we have to just go back to settings. So again, you just click on settings and all of the collections that you have will show up and you just choose the one, um, the collection that you want to have featured on this page. And it kind of hides sometimes, so you just have to drag it down and make sure that it's within those dotted lines. The dotted lines are really helpful because sometimes, depending on the laptop, um, there may be certain features that are outside of that box that may not show up. So you just want to make sure that everything stays within those dotted lines so that no matter what device someone is on, they'll be able to see everything that you have designed on your website. You put a lot of work into this website, so you want to make sure that people can see all of the work that you did to create your beautiful website. Um, and so now we're going into the body oil and we're going to make sure that we have that added as well. So again, you click on to body oil and uh, make sure that that shows up. Now, for whatever reason, it's not popping up, so we're gonna do that again, just to make sure that we have that feature there. While, while we're working on that, just, you know, another question, um, what is one feature that you've been having a hard time putting on your website? What's something that you've been trying to implement but have been having a hard time um, figuring out when it comes to making your website? I want to know um, some of the things that you may be struggling with so we can help each other. So definitely put that down in, this, this, in the comment section below. I would love to hear um, what your process and journey is, go is looking like right now. So now um, you can see that the, everything that we've you know set up as far as the links we want to make sure that that's working so we're going to click on the preview button and it's going to show you just like a preview option of the page this isn't um, published or anything this is just a preview so that you can click on everything and make sure that it's working so if we click on that shop buddy butter we're on the body butter page okay now we're going to go back to the home page we click on shop essentials Ooh. It looks like it's not there, so we need to see what's going on. That's why we always double check. So, if you notice, I didn't make an Essentials um, page. So now, we have to go back to the Essentials page, click on the plus button, and um, go to the, sh the store, or the shop, and add the um, gallery, the product gallery. And... Uh, make sure we go into settings because now we're looking at all products and we're going to click on the collection that we made for only essentials. So now that when they click on that button, it will take them to this essentials page. And this is, you know, all of the products that we believe are essential to your skin care journey and everything that you you need to get. These are must haves for just starting out. So that is what that feature um, really helps you to uh, showcase on your website. So now that we have that all set, everything um, is looking really good and that on the end. Now we're going to go to the bottom and we're going to talk about the customer service, frequently asked questions, shipping and returns, and store policy buttons at the footer of the uh, website. This is really important because you want to give um, people information, but you may not want that to be the, the focal point of the main menu on your website. You want people to, you know, pay attention to the products and what you have to offer. And then if they have, you know, any additional questions, they can look at that later. But you really want to make sure that they're seeing, um, you know, the prized possessions of everything that you've worked for. So uh, we're going to make a, an About Us tab because you don't need frequently asked questions. Um, you may have that be something that you um, have later once you kind of build up those frequently asked questions, but we're going to change that to the about us and make sure that that is linked so that when you highlight on there, you click the linked button and it goes straight to that page on the website. And we're going to make sure that it just goes to the current page. So when you click on it, it automatically just pops up on the page that they're on and make sure that that page is showing up each time. Um, we're gonna have to do the same thing with customer service and that's gonna be where you connect the 
uh, uh, connect with us page and you just scroll down you'll have a connect page and you'll just click there and it'll just be a form that they'll be able to fill out in order to speak with you directly or whatever customer service that you have set up um, now we're just going to go to the menu so we click on to the home page and we're going to just dive into the about us first now this is your opportunity to really talk about yourself and your brand you can also feature a product here too so that they can um, go to your most recent products that you have on your website and here you know you really want to dive into why did you start you know making body butter why did you start your business what um, drove you to do this how long have you been doing it for um, like what has been your journey with skincare if that you know, is a driving force into what made you start the business. I'll just really get, get, you know, get down and let people know more about you and your brand and what you stand for. Uh, people love a good story. People love to know um, what others are going through. And that may be, that story that you put here may be what connects the next person to decide to buy from you. They may share a similar story and connect with you in a way and want to support you solely based off of that. So it's really important to to implement that and really, you know, have it be special. Next up is the shipping policy. And you just want to dive into who you use as your shipping service, how long your shipping usually takes, what processing time looks like for your shipments, um, what people can expect, you know, as far as, um, again, how long it will take for them to get their products, everything like that. So you just want to dive into what that looks like. I also say to look up online other shipping policies, other return policies, um, and see what other people say and kind of get an idea so that can help you format what, what you decide to say. Because you kind of want it to still be original, but you also want to explain um, explain everything in the best way and sometimes reading other people's example will help you formulate uh, you know a better um, response in, in that way so I would definitely say just do a little research on other pages and see what what you know bigger brands say as far as their shipping and returns um, and then now we have the connect with us and this is just a form where people can um, put in their information send you a message so that they can connect with you. This will go straight to your email, whatever customer service email that you have um, on your website. So you just want to make sure that you um, are you know, explaining how people can contact you and what they can, um, how they can reach you, social media, email, things of that sort. Now we're going to go to the mobile section of the website. And one thing I want to note is that on the mobile, it doesn't always transfer properly to mobile. So all of the work that you did on the on the desktop, when you get to mobile, it may um, it, it will look different. So you want to make sure that you go to the mobile section and that you make sure that you know everything is lined up properly. It still looks aesthetically pleasing. Honestly, about sixty percent of my traffic comes from mobile so and it, it may be similar for you as well so you want to make sure that mobile is as optimized as possible it's easy to use it's clear and that it looks aesthetically pleasing so be sure to go back and forth between desktop and mobile so that you know that it looks proper on each end and um, you can also add an animation here if you'd like so that when they're scrolling down, it has like a cool animation to it. And you can do that throughout the website as well. So um, just, you know, uh, check out the different layouts that they have and see how you want everything to show. I'm going to make the social media bar a little bit bigger as well. Um, but um, there we have it, you guys. There is the website we have created um, everything is all set up and we have everything connected properly as far as 
the page goes. Um, if you found this helpful and you are still wondering if you want to use Wix as your platform, definitely check out my Wix versus Shopify video and I'll have that linked here.